Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. If you guys are new here, if you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest you do so you guys won't miss any of my videos. Today, I figured to show you guys what it's like to be a radio announcer or a radio DJ here in the Philippines. My shift is from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight, so it makes sense. It's it's kind of dark because it's already 8. And yeah, to others, it could be four hours. Yung shift nila with hours, it's three hours. So right now, I'll just show it to you, everything that you need to know. But right now, I think it's time for us to drive because I wouldn't want to be late. We're here. Thank you. Don't forget to clean that. So we're right in time just before my shift. There's Noelle. <laughs> she goes before me. She's 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. And this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you guys an in-depth of how our console looks and what's what's up with everything and how to use it. This one is responsible for our mic. It says mic one and this is mic one. This is what we use here. And all the others are for the rest of the mics over there. And this one, this one is already on air. That's responsible for playing the music right now. You might ask, why do we have three PCs? Okay, this PC is supposed to audition tracks. I'm gonna explain it in a little bit. This one is supposed to be responsible for all the songs that are being played on radio right now. So what to hear? That's what's being played on air right now. I love that track, by the way. This one is responsible for anything with research, what we're going to say on air, the news and everything, the information that we say on air. That's it. Twitter, social media, everything else. Shang <laughs> What do you mean auditioning songs? What I'm trying to say is a lot of the songs here, a part of being a radio announcer is you have to segue songs seamlessly. So you can't go from, say for example, Drake's song, a little bit hip-hop, lo-fi, that type of song, and then you go to Coldplay. So that doesn't sound well and will never sound well together. I'm gonna put you guys there. Hold on, I'm gonna let you guys listen to what auditioning sounds like. Say for example, how about the Black Keys Fire Walk With Me and I'm gonna segue it with... I'm gonna segue that with the Delta Riggs Friendly Fire. I'm gonna give another example. One is Weezer Living in LA with Juice Box with a track called Dreamer. So I'm gonna squeeze in until the last bit and that's gonna automatically segue to Dick B. So it's cute already. Let's see if it sounds good together. So here's an example of not segueing songs seamlessly together. Let's try it out. We got Jungle with Beat 54, and I'm gonna segue that with Jocho with a track called Sugoi Kawaii. <laughs> okay, let's try to hear that out. So, you see what I mean? Apart from researching and handle social, handling social media on air and everything that has to happen behind Jam 88.3 is you have to always segue songs seamlessly together. Otherwise, it's gonna sound like that. <laughs> Here's the first thing that you might want to check out the moment you come by here at the station is the broadcaster's log. To others, it could be a commercial log, but it's actually the same thing. I'm going to skip all the shows and go straight with mine at 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. So for this hour at 9, you can check it out. At 9 p.m., I have two commercials 
for the hour. One is at 9.10 and another one is at 9.35. So you notice our commercials when you listen to it on national radio or when you're inside your car. This is how it looks. <laughs> so we're, we're going to play Patience of Saint, Because Filipinas Merch, Passport Approved. Um, everything is inside our OTS. When I say OTS, it's this, it's this software that plays our music and even the commercials are in there so it's all in those folders for the next hour at 10 p.m i only have one what happens in between 9 10 and then 9 35 music of course so while we're waiting for these commercials to get played on air i'm gonna put music it also differs from radio stations here in the Philippines. When it says 910, some some radio stations are very strict with it. You have to play it at 910 or 935. With Jam at least, it's it's okay so long as you play it on the same hour. Say for example, my next commercial is 935. We have a time check and then these three commercials. So what we're going to do is put it on deck. So first up, let's go to search media library and try to look for Jam in the box. Onward, we're gonna put that on deck. We're gonna slide it in there so you see it's already there. And then the last one is Balian on the Egg Merch. Slide it and it comes over there. So here's one rule with radio stations or with Jam at least when you play a, before you play a commercial, you must put a breaker. It's supposed to separate the music and the commercial that you're gonna play. Also, it reminds the listeners what radio station they're listening to. So those are our three commercials for 9.35 and then right after Balian and Leg Merch, we have to put another breaker as well. And then more music! I'm gonna give you a quick preview of what or how that 9.35 commercial sounds like. Remember, we still do have a time check, so I'm gonna let you guys in on how that sounds like or how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Jam 88.3 New Music Alternative out to door with a track called Noel in the Garden News coming up in a bit. But for now, it is now 9.44 and it's time to listen to the greatest OPM hits with the legends for two nights. Check out Resorts World Manila online for more details and I'll be right back with a new entry inside the charts on Jam 88.3. That's a cool band! Buy their music, buy their merch. So there you have it. I read our time check for 9.35, it's this one. Send them a cool with snow. <laughs> We're officially done with all our commercials for the hour. Now to more music! Aside from segueing music seamlessly and playing commercials and your time checks and all that stuff that's inside a broadcaster's log, we also need to make our news for the day. Sometimes it's every hour from different radio stations. It really depends on what kind of branding the radio station is. But with ours at Jam at least, it's called our pop culture and we're supposed to do that every hour for our whole shift. And right now I have a news I have I have news here. It's about Jurassic World 3. So I have to rewrite everything at least to make it conversational on air. Dominion and of course we'll see the return of Hollywood actors. We got Chris Pratt in there. Brian Dallas How Howard is also in there. I'll keep you updated so long as you follow us at Jam 88.3. That's what a pop culture is. So I'm trying my best to keep it conversational so to not make it seem like I'm reading off of things on notepad. <laughs> and the best thing about, you know, radio and radio now in the di digital age is we get to take advantage of the internet because why not? Um, to others, I can't imagine being <laughs> being in the radio industry without internet, without all these phones, but kudos to everybody who has been in the radio industry, the OG ones, and who has been here since day one. So yeah, kudos to you guys. I just can't imagine without internet. How do we know which songs to play and when to play them? We actually follow a clock. This is our daily clock. To other radio stations, it could differ, of course, but this is the clock that we follow. We have our semi, our top 10, and our current, and then a semi, new, and top 10. That recurs on for the whole hour, and this is our 10 top tracks. When you say semi, or top 10, or current, so in top 10, it's pretty obvious. You can play songs that's inside here in our 10 top tracks. The semi and the current, it's already here in our odds out. There's the semi and then there's the current. So you just go to that folder and choose which songs that none of the other DJs have played on the last hour. So to keep the music going, para hindi naman pa ulit ulit at least yung mga songs that pinaplay namin. How do we know if it's time to talk? 
At jam at least, we need to talk six times in a whole hour. Kasama na dun yung pop culture or the news and five other ad libs that's about the artist or the music. If they have an upcoming tour, you have to talk about that. If they have an upcoming song or an album, you have to talk about that. I'm gonna show you guys on how I do my ad libs. To other radio announcers, it could be different. To others, they're just, it's just really subjective. It depends on the personality of the announcer. JM Media 8.3 New Music all turned into Blackpool with a track called Baby Please on the second hour of the show together. My name is Joe. If you guys are new here, uh, spread the word. It's at JM at 8.3 across the board. And on Instagram, just put an underscore right at the front for Instagram as well. And for me, it's at Joe Desaga. It's J H O D E S A G A. Something to look forward to within this hour that rundown of our top three inside of the 10 top tracks. At number nine, here's Tops with Witching Hour on JM 88.3. So that's one example of an ad lib that I do to welcome everybody on a second hour of my show. So I'm here at 9 p.m. to 12 midnight. I may have mentioned it to you guys. So it's already 10 p.m. here and I'm having so much fun. I think I might need to put more music because I've only one <laughs> insider WhatsApp. I'm gonna show it to you. See, there's only one and there's a breaker up next. I think I need to put one. How can you get in touch with us? There are a lot of things on how to get in touch with your radio announcers, with your local radio announcers. Of course, because it is the digital age, there's Twitter, there's Instagram, there's Facebook. There are a lot of ways for you to get, to get in touch with us. And a lot of our listeners as well, they also call us or text us with our text line. We have our official jam phone here. <laughs> sometimes they call us, sometimes they send requests over here. Wala nang hotline. <laughs> well, there's no hotline in here. So that's a few things. You can pick them on whichever you like. Or sometimes even in our personal social medias, they do send us there. I think that's about it. I think I've covered at least the baseline of what we actually do here inside the radio station. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Just drop it down below or message me on my social media accounts. You can follow us out of here. It's at Joe Desaga. For me, it's J-H-O-D-E-S-A-G-A across the board. For Jam, it's at Jam88 point there across the board as well. Thank you so much for making it to the last minute of this video, you guys. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys soon. Peace and love.